Hey, Princess Aji, I cannot understand why do you reject me? I'm a king, a rich. You can feel the paradise if you marry me. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Well, in this beautiful day and in this nice place, I am Nala India Hilmi, delegation from North Jadis Senior High School, going to tell you about my little story and the title. The Legend of Centipede Lake. So now, listen to me. Long time ago, in the east of Borneo, there lived a princess who led an ancient kingdom at Mara Kaman Ulu. Her name was Princess Aji Berdara Puti. She was known for her wise and beauty. Her skin was so crystal clear. When she drank water, you could see the water flow down her toe. The beauty and peculiarity of Princess Aji's skin have spread to countless countries. Still, it was heard by the king of China. Hearing about that, he was very eager to purpose to Princess Aji. So, on account of this, he commanded all his soldiers to sail to Mara Kaman Ulu with Jing Jing at once. Jing Jing was a large Chinese made boat that was often used to sail the ocean. When I see your face, there is nothing I will change. Cause you're amazing, just the way you are. What a beautiful princess. I have to visit to get her love. After wading through the first ocean, they finally died at Mara Kaman Ulu and the king of China went back to the royal palace to meet Princess Aji. The king of China greatly wanted to marry Princess Aji. However, he didn't even know except the king. She still wanted to know about his personality. In other, she didn't regret her own choice. She was planning something. Hmm. Ha! Huh. She got an idea. She made a big banquet for the pets. Oh, my king, you must be very tired from soiling the ocean for days. So, let's get some food then we eat together. Then, we can talk about your purpose for coming here. The big banquet began, and sure enough, his true personality was revolt. The Chinese king at <laughs> gravely and uncivilly, he had by not using tools or hands, but the township of his food, it made Princess Aji was choked and ew, disgusting. After that incident, Princess Aji planned to refuse the king's proposal. After the banquet had done, with a respectful and comfortable word, she expressed her heart that she wanted to refuse the king's proposal. Hearing that sentence, but the Chinese king was very angry. Hey, Princess Aji, I cannot understand why do you reject me. I am a king, a rich. You can feel the paradise if you marry me. Pardon me, please, my king, but I don't mean to break your heart. I just dislike how did you eat just now. As human, you actually must eat with your hands, not to ship off this food. After saying so, the Chinese king went back to his Jung Jung and returned to his kingdom with a high anger. In certain days, the Chinese king was back to Mara Kaman Ulu. However, he didn't intend to marry Princess Aji, but he wanted to attack her kingdom as his revenge. He broke many ships to finish off Princess Aji and all her societies. Once upon arriving at Mara Kaman Ulu, all the Chinese troops immediately attacked her kingdom by the order of the king. Hey, Princess Aji! Just feel the consequence! <laughs> For all my troops, finish them now! <laughs> A big battle happened in that kingdom. Bloods were spread everywhere. Many people died because of that battle. Princess Aji was very confused when she saw that her troops wouldn't be able to defeat that big fleet. 
at the time, she remembered that her ancestors have a supernatural power and directly she prayed to the God for asking help. Oh my God! If the supernatural power of my ancestors really exists, please then this belief in the fraction sentiment to destroy those Chinese armies. <laughs> After she prayed to the god, she chose the bee to leave that she had by reading magical spell, and she sped it out. And do you know guys, what happened next? Suddenly, it changed to be a giant centipede and began to attack all the Chinese armies. Finally, all of the Chinese armies and the king died in that battle. All their ships sank on the beach of Marakaman Ulu. And not long after, strange things happened. The sea where their ship sank became shallow and from a large meadow, and it was called as the Centipede Lake. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the story. But before that, let me inform you about the moral value of the story. Our behavior is the reflection of the nature we process. So, be the best that you can be and never force our desires on others because uh, what we like, other people don't necessarily like it. Maybe that's all for me and the last I say, see you next time.